The fifth most common question or misconception that is there in the minds of non-Muslims is that why does Islam permit a Muslim man to have more than one wife? Why is polygamy permitted in Islam? Polygamy is a system of marriage wherein a person has more than one spouse. Polygamy is divided into two types, polygyny and polyandry. Polygyny is wherein a man has more than one wife and polyandry is wherein a woman has more than one husband. In Islam, limited polygyny is permitted, whereas polyandry, it is completely prohibited in Islam. Quran is the only religious scripture on the face of the earth which contains the phrase marry only one. Whereas the other religious scriptures, they do not contain this phrase marry only one. Whether it be Hinduism, whether it be Christianity, whether it be Judaism, there is no restriction. A man can marry as many wives as he wishes. And even the same is the case with Hinduism. And many famous Hindu personalities, even they had more than one wife according to Hindu scriptures. King Dashar, the father of Rama, he had more than one wife. Krishna, how many wives did he have? Four, ten, 100, 1000, 16,108. So if Krishna can have 16,108 wives, why can't we Muslims have maximum four? The same is the case with Christianity. There is no limit. A Christian man, according to the Bible, can marry as many wives as he wishes. It does not restrict a Christian man to marry only one wife. The same is the case with Judaism. If you read the Jewish scriptures, Abraham had three wives. Solomon had 700 wives. So a Christian man, according to to Christianity can marry more than one wife. It was later on that the Christian church put a restriction. The same is the case with Judaism. A Jew can marry more than one wife. It was later on that Rabbi Joshim bin Yehuda, he issued an edict and he said that a Jewish man should marry only one wife. So Christianity, Hinduism, Judaism, all of these religions, they permit their followers according to their scriptures to have more than one wife. And there was an article, The Committee of the Status of Women in Islam, published in 1975. And on page number 66 and 67, it mentioned regarding the polygamous marriages in India in the span of 10 years, from 1951 to 1961. The Hindus, they did 5.06% polygamous marriages. Among the Hindus, the percentage of polygamous marriages, it was 5.06%. Among the Muslims in India, it was only 4.31%. According to the Indian law, it is illegal for a Hindu to have more than one wife. But for a Muslim, it is permitted according to the Indian law. Yet, even though it is illegal, yet the Hindus, they were more polygamous in marriage. They were more polygamous as far as the marriages were concerned as compared to the Muslims. So the Hindu scriptures does not put a restriction. A Hindu can marry more than one wife as per the Hindu scriptures. Now let us look at the perspective of Islam as far as polygamy is concerned. The phrase that I mentioned previously, marry only one, this is mentioned in the glorious Quran in Surah Al Imra, in Surah Nisa, chapter number four, verse number three. And let us understand the context of this verse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah An-Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 3 فَنْكِحُوا مَا طَابَ لَكُمْ مِنَ النِّسَا مَثْنَا وَثُلَاثَ وَرُبَاعَ That marry women of your choice in twos, threes or fours. But if you cannot do justice, then marry only one. So Islam gives permission for a Muslim man to have more than one wife. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah An-Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 129, And never will you be able to do justice between your wives, but do not turn away from them altogether. Many people unfortunately have a misconception that polygamy, having more than one wife, it is fard, it is compulsory in Islam. But polygamy, it is not fard but rather it is an exception. As far as Islamic rulings are concerned, it can be divided into four broad headings. Fard that is compulsory, Mustahab that is recommended, Mubah that is optional, 
and the fourth is makru that is disliked and the fifth is haram that is prohibited five categories as far as polygamy is concerned it comes in the category of mubah optional if a person wishes he can do it so in islam a muslim man is allowed to have more than one wife now let us analyze what are the logical reasons why islam permits a muslim man to have more than one wife if we analyze the males and the females they are born in approximately the same ratio but if you ask a pediatrician and the pediatrician will tell you that in the pediatric age itself the female gender it is stronger as compared to the male gender so in the pediatric age itself there are more death among men as compared to women as life goes on there are death due to drug addiction due to alcoholism due to wars due to accidents in all of these cases there are more men who die as compared to the women so in all of these cases there are more men who die as compared to the women for example in certain countries like india the female population it is more than the male population the reason is because female feticide and female infanticide is practiced and there was an article that was published that is mentioned in the al jazeera the un report on the 6th of july 2015 it mentioned that every day in india no less than 7000 girls are aborted or fetuses have been aborted in the womb or immediately after they are born daily 7000 and if you multiply this by 365 the number of days you will get no less than 2.5 million fetuses have been aborted in the womb or immediately after the child is born if female feticide and female infanticide is stopped in india and other countries the female population it will outnumber the male population and according to the cia that is the central intelligence agency they say that in the year 2015 it mentioned that in usa alone there were no less than 4.8 million females more than males in new york alone 0.5 million females more than males in germany alone 1.2 million females more than males in bangladesh alone 4.2 million females more than males in russia alone 10 million females more than males in the european union which consists of 28 countries 10.2 million females more than males i am asking the question that if we agree that every man needs to have only one wife yet as per the statistics in 2015 that i mentioned yet if for example in usa every man has found a life partner yet there would be 4.8 million females who would not have life partners in germany there would be 1.2 million females without life partners if everyone has found a spouse so the only option for these women who do not have a spouse is to marry a man who already has a wife or to become public property some people might say public property such a harsh word it is the most sophisticated word i can use having mistresses is very common in the western countries in america 5 10 20 no problem but having more than one wife does not go down their throat when a woman she is a second wife she has her honor she gets her rights she lives a life of dignity when a woman she is a mistress she does not get her rights she does not live a life of dignity so in certain situations a person needs to to polygamy and the western civilization claiming to uplift the woman they have actually degraded her to a status of concubines mistresses society butterflies which are mere tools in the hands of pleasure seekers and sex marketers which are hidden behind the colorful screen of art and culture now let us analyze few other reasons why islam permits a muslim man to have more than one wife for example if a woman she is sterile she is barren and the couple they are not having a child for several years so or the husband wants to have a child he can marry another woman so that he has an offspring and the second wife can but natural provide and take care of the family and take care of the first wife as well for example if a person marries a woman at a young age and this woman she becomes handicapped 
and because of this she cannot do the role of a mother or cannot take care of the children so the only option the husband has is to divorce the first wife and marry a second woman or to keep the first wife and marry a second woman and the second wife will provide for the family and take care of the first wife as well for example if a woman has some kind of illness and a husband has married this woman and this woman she has certain kind of illness because of which she cannot take care of the children so in order to take care of the children the man marries another woman so the only two option that the man has if he wants to bring proper blinging of the children that he divorces the first wife and marries a second woman or he keeps the first wife and marries a second woman so from these various reasons logical reasons we understand why islam permits a muslim man to have more than one wife